Islam was introduced in Buganda in 1844 by the Muslim Arab traders from Zanzibar. Although it had reached northern Uganda in 1827, these were received by then Kabakasuna II in his Wamala Palace, currently in Wakiso district, via Mulungo Munyonyo. They donated holy hand written Quran to the Kabaka and other presents, glasses, clothes, pistols, jewelries, prayer mats, kettles, and many others. The Arabs convinced the Kabaka to be submissive to Islam, which would later spread to the rest of Buganda and other parts in the country. The Kabaka learned how to recite the Holy Quran. Then later, the Kabaka asked the Arabs, asked their Sultan of Zanzibar teachers to teach his subjects Arabic upon return. According to Owechitibwa Ambassador al Haj Professor Badru, Katerega, chairman of the Shuhada Muslim Matters Committee. A handwritten Holy Quran to the Kabaka, which still exists in the museum at uh, Tue, at uh, Kasubi Nabulagala. There is a handwritten Quran in a kettle because the Muslims, uh, if they go for their wudu, they use a kettle. The Baganda have a saying, Rumianga Musiram, a quarter of the color was a little chai, was against the Kutawaza. In 1856, when the Arab traders returned, they were welcomed by King Mutesa I. After his father's death, Kabakasuna II, in his palace at Kasubi Nabulagala. The Sultan of Zanzibar sent a letter and several gifts to the Kabaka of Buganda, which included Arab money. King's gown and many others. Established Islam as the state of religion of Uganda. If there is anybody who did a lot for Islam in Uganda, it was Mutesa. When he became a Muslim, he said everybody. Because in Uganda, the king is Latate Semwa. When the Arabs introduced the new dress code, this marked the beginning of a new culture of dressing code in Buganda that ignited. Islam. Kabaka Mutesa I was excited with the gifts offered to him. The gifts placed Kabaka Mutesa I in a difficult position of choosing to join Islam or maintain his traditional Ganda culture. However, it's believed that Kabaka Mutesa the one at one point converted to Islam and established Islam as the state religion of Buganda Kingdom. Which was built in Uganda at Kasubi, Namulagala, Masjidi Kibulatain. For the Muslims, this is a, there is only one mosque in, in Medina which has two Kiblas direction. We call it Kibulatain. The second mosque in the world which has two Kiblas is the Mutesa I made it necessary that mosques are constructed in palaces and chiefs' enclosures, including the first mosque at Kasubi Nabulagala, clearing Islamic greeting Aslam Aleiku to be the official kingdom greeting. So it was by order that the king would be greeted Aslam Aleiku. Now, that's how Salama came. Because people said, now, are you going to the palace of oh, As-Salaamu Alaikum? Although Mutesa I embraced Islam wholeheartedly, he was not circumcised as a way of respecting Buganda traditional norms where the Kabaka's blood can't be shed. He was not circumcised as a way of respecting Buganda traditional norms where the Kabaka's blood can never be shed. Kabaka taiwa musahai, otherwise immediately the blood goes, he loses the kingdom. He later learned that his people had refused even to eat meat slaughtered by him as they called him pagan in the local language known as kafiri. Because of being uncircumcised, ordered for the arrest of the 27 Muslims who had circumcised themselves without his permission and all were sentenced to death. 76 Arabs from Egypt came to Uganda and denounced, denounced Mutesa, especially the young men. 
uh, he, they said he's not a Muslim because he has not been circumcised. Although Islam does not, they were not right. Circumcision is not a must. Okay, Kitan is not a must. But all Muslims happen to be circumcised. They are like a Jews. Okay, but it is not a fire. Others were brutally tortured, killed, and burned at Kisalosalo, Namukongo. Therefore, he killed over 100 Muslims between 1874 to 1876. Al-Hajj Sly Man Musana Kawanguzi, the coordinator of the Shuhadu Muslim Matters Committee, highlighted particulars of some of the Muslims that were killed. First matters and in big numbers, actually we are mentioning about 200, but they are in the southern in so many other places, like I've mentioned to you, the 14 sets. As we get into the business, you will get to understand. It is still going on. These were people who were burnt to ashes. Mwonyi, Mudwa Ulira, Bira, Bamutalira, Kanga. In their recognition, Masjid Nur Shuhada was built in 1968 by Muslims at Namgongo. And since then, 1st June was marked for their commemoration and also the same day Uganda Muslim Supreme Council was established by then the late president Idi Amin Dada who convened a conference of Muslim leaders from different parts in Kabale, Western Uganda to bring unity among Muslims in Uganda and its headquarters are based at Old Kampala Hill. Islam, Muslims were in different sects and groups, groupings so on 1st June 1972, it is a very important day of Muslims in this country. That's when the Uganda Muslim Council was established as the uniting umbrella body for all the Muslims of Uganda. Therefore, Uganda Muslim Supreme Council has plans of developing the Namgongo Muslim site, though having challenges, according to Wakiso Muslim District uh, Kadi Sheikh Elias Kigozi. Tasola Kujukira history. Tasola kumanya waja agenda kulaga. Nzengo mkulembeze wa district yeno, ajitwala, unaku ulumunga joni, tuku ngana mchifecho, ngaba siramu, netuogira kubantuwa wo, abatiwa, era netubasabira, nga tubasabira katonda basasire, uroku wanti, bafa, nga humu, shuhada, nga bajuliz. Kukume chifocha fecho, ngaba siramu, kwa etu wate tuchukume, chinja tuwali wabalala, Hira ba chikozi sebe baga lo chikozi sa. So, okubanga tu ina umuzikiti, wasa aliwe sora tano, tukunga anila uko, tuba nensonga, chigambo cha bei, hira cha achitiwa. The Muslims also want to develop other sites for religious tourism from different places like Mulungo Mnyonyo, Natete Site Mosque, Kasubi Mosque at Nabulagala, Namgongo Salafi Site Mosque, Kawempe Mbogo Site, and many more where many of the Muslim martyrs estimated to be a hundred were killed from.